So we've tried making the videos as short as possible, and now we're going to do the lamest possible cooking video. Some of you yesterday asked me how the baguettes turned out, and the answer is salty. Very salty. Um, not ridiculously salty, but very salty. I will, I double check the recipe, I put the correct amount of salt in, and it must just be too much. So I'm going to cut the salt even more the next time I make them. Because you can taste the salt in the bread. Anyway, that's not what we're here for today. Except we are. These are eggplant sandwiches. This is, as I mentioned, the worst possible cooking video. So, make sure you preheat your lean, mean, fat, reducing grilling machine. Signed by George Foreman. Not really signed by George Foreman, just a, you know, print of his signature. And by preheat, I mean plug in. Because that's all they do. Or at least this model, you just plug it in and it starts heating up. Then... Get your eggplant, make sure you wash it because, um, you know, you always need to clean your vegetables. And I've peeled the leaves off the top um, just because they get in the way when I'm going to cut it. Then, after you have thoroughly washed and dried your eggplant, go ahead and skin it. You don't have to take all of the skin off. The skin is edible. It's just not very good if it's completely covered in skin. So I usually, you know, you can see here that the width of the vegetable peeler, um, I only leave like these basically kind of thin areas in between. Ooh, the rainstorm is really kicking in. We had a big thing of thunder. I don't know if my microphone picked it up. It is still going. Okay. Anyway, yeah, most of it will have the skin off, but you're, there's still some skin left. If you want to cut all of the skin off, go ahead. So then, so there, then you cut it into slices um, between one and one and a half inches thick, which is 2.5 to 3, 3.5, well, one and a half inches, I guess would be about uh, 2.5 to, yeah, 3.5-ish kind of centimeters, I suppose. My brain's not really working right now. So you cut them open, then, now this, this eggplant is very unusual. I'm pretty sure my microphone picked up that thunder. Um, normally there are these little bitty seeds and stuff that are in it, but normally you don't have these crevices. And this one ran the entire, like, four or five pieces here. And it was actually a hole completely through. So when I, uh, you put olive oil on them. And the olive oil actually dripped through to the other side. So you put some olive oil. And if you've never worked with eggplant before, eggplant is literally like a sponge. Um, you can see the shape of the, the olive oil. I pour the olive oil onto one piece. And then I use another piece to kind of smear it around. But when you pour the olive oil on, instantly the eggplant just sucks it up. And that's why you see these little circles of olive oil in the middle of these pieces because that's where the, that's the piece that I poured the uh, olive oil on and then the other ones which don't have that big circle in the middle like these that one and this one um, are the ones that I use to kind of smear it around where it doesn't soak in quite as deeply but yeah you cut them out you put them on your George Foreman grill you uh, slap the lid down uh, five-ish minutes it's gotten to the point where I don't know exactly how much time it is. I just go, <laughs> I put the, the grill down. I go back to my computer. I watch part of a video at, on YouTube. Then I go back and then I open it up. And if it looks like this, that's good. Then I flip them over. Um, sometimes they'll have grill marks on both sides. You can tell like this piece and this piece were a little bit taller because they have these very deep grill lines. And then this piece was smaller because it's missing some. So I flip them over to make sure that they're properly cooked on both sides. And af uh, after flipping them, they only stay on for maybe two more minutes. So then here is baguettes. These are uh, part of the baguettes that I made. And I just cut them in half. I put the eggplant on top. And you can see this one, it doesn't, this one's not as squished. This one, I picked it up with tongs. And you can see that I was able to kind of squish it down so that it fit the, sh the shape of the bread. 
that's the way it um, eggplant should be in my mind. I don't know what actually it's supposed to be. But when you cook eggplant, it becomes creamy. It gets a very creamy texture. The outer rim, uh, you know, the outside of the plant can have a little bit of a fibrous quality to it. So it has a little bit of structure on the outside. And the first time you bite into it, you might have a, you know, you might have to work for that first bite. But all this middle section is just very soft and creamy goodness. Now, I like eggplant, but I don't like plain eggplant on a sandwich. That's just a little bit too blah. So I throw some sriracha on top. And maybe I'm a heathen eating grilled eggplant with sriracha on a French baguette, a day-old French baguette at that. But delicious, if a little bit salty from the bread. Um, there, presentation. You will see, you'll hear people talk about the bitterness in eggplant. And online you'll see people recommend that you cut the eggplant up, put it in a colander, and then salt it. And the salt will draw the bitter liquid out of the eggplant. And then you rinse them off and uh, cook them. The very first time I ever made eggplant, I followed that exact recipe. And it takes forever, and it makes the eggplant itself taste really salty, and it's just a pain in the butt. After doing it that way once, maybe twice, I have never cooked eggplant that way again. If you buy a decent uh, one pound to two pound eggplant, which means not a gigantic eggplant, these are, you know, you can hold it in one hand. If you watch the video, the grocery store video the other day, you can see the size of the eggplant um, in my hand and it's firm like I said an eggplant should be firm it shouldn't be soft and squishy it should be hard basically when you hold when you touch it they're not bitter I don't ever get bitterness from them maybe other people do taste bitterness I never taste the bitterness maybe that's what the sriracha is for I've had an eggplant sandwich plain with no sauce on it and it's not bitter it's just plain there you know the eggplant doesn't in and of itself have a very strong flavor to my mind um, so I need to have something with a bit of a bit of flavor on there I uh, usually would also put a slice of cheese on these but I don't have any sliced cheese at the moment I just have block cheese and I don't feel like slicing it up so yeah that's what I had for dinner I just finished eating that a little bit ago it was delicious if a bit salty from the bread so until next time bye bye